Hi, this is Anna, and this is Check It at the Round Table, where we discuss movies, books, music, and stuff. Today, we are discussing how you can connect with us on social media, and also how you can support us. We are reachable at this lovely podcast on various platforms. We also have several YouTube channels: The Hand Network, Check It Round Table, and also the Asian Drama Club. I will drop the links in the description so you can check those out. You can also reach us online at our website. That's onacar.com. That's o n n a c a r r dot com. You can support us through either PayPal or Venmo. Our PayPal email address is roses r o s e s out of the snow o u t o f s n o w at gmail dot com, and you can support us also on Venmo. The the connection for that is at on a car, and that's uppercase O and uppercase C, and it's O N N A C A R R. The last four to verify are one one four three. Thank you so much for listening. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hi, this is Anna, and this is Check It at the Round Table, where we discuss movies, books, music, and stuff. Today we are discussing the new Taiwanese BL drama series, My Tooth for Your Love. Okay, peeps, as you all know, this is going to be a little bit of a ramble, but Taiwanese dramas. Anna really likes Taiwanese dramas. I mean, they're one of my favorite things, and the reason is, is they're usually about rather nice people who life is pretty uneventful for. Which I know that's not why most people watch dramas. You know, you're not really going to get huge super cliffhangers with great stress or guns or any kind of terrible violence that's going to occur usually in the Taiwanese dramas that I've seen. My tooth for your love, though. This is the story of a man who he lives with his older sister. His sister and him have been living together since he was about eight years old when his parents died, and this first episode opens up with him having a terrible toothache, and he is trying to do everything he can to avoid going to the dentist.、Um, whether that's drinking extra alcohol in his bar to hopefully numb the pain, or putting on some kind of muscle relaxer on his chin to try to keep, or on his cheek to try to keep it from hurting. But anyway, he's trying all sorts of things to keep this toothache from bothering him. He finally goes home after working all night in the pub that he owns, and he has two assistants that help him at the pub. And one of them is Alex Chu, which, if you're not familiar with him, he did the song for、um, "We Best Love." He also was featured there in just a bit part as a bartender when he was talking with Gao Shidi's cousin. It's just a tiny part, but it was a rather important moment in that movie. So, if you're from or in that series, so if you're familiar with We Best Love, you probably know Alex Chu, just because of the music and also because of the scene he was featured in. He has a much more pre- predominant role in this one as a basically not the headliner, but as a second character in the show. So anyway, we have the owner of the bar. We have Alex Chu's character who. And I'm sorry, I'm terrible with names, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be referring to them at their names in the show. But anyway, you have Alex Chu's character, who is his assistant, and then you have one other guy who's also a bartender. And they're all asking the bartender, "Please get us some help. We need help because we're trying to run this with just you and us. And you said you would get us help. Where's the help?" So anyway, the bartender goes home. He makes up this delicious hamburger and leaves it on the table for his sister. But he's not eating because his tooth is hurt, and he goes and conks in his room with like literally a million plushies. I found this scene absolutely hilarious because I'm like, the plushies were so funny. I mean, he literally covers his entire face with these plushies and puts on earplugs so he doesn't have to hear anything and goes to sleep. Well, his sister comes back because she's going to Huilin, which is a beautiful seaside、um, area in Taiwan. Because she is a doctor and she's going to go do some work there, 
And she comes home and she's like, oh, my brother made me this wonderful hamburger. And no, I'm not supposed to eat it because of the cholesterol, but I guess I will. And she calls her brother because she's like, why is he not eating with me? Because apparently they eat together quite often because she lives with him still. And she goes to try to check on him and his door is locked. So she's banging on the door. I love, I love his sister. Like she is, she is cool. So anyway, she's being honest. She's like, open your door. What's up? And so she finally gets the door open and she sees that her brother is covered with a mound of um, stuffed animals. And she's like, I want to see your face. And she sees that his face is swollen. He keeps trying to hide it with the um, stuffed animals like, like a kid would do. And she's like, oh, no, you have a toothache. We're going to take you to the doctor. The doctor that you normally go to is out. So we're going to take you to my friend who's a doctor. I will get you in today because he owes me a favor, basically. And you're going in to the doctor today. So she she gets him. She gets him dressed. She's like, we're going to get you dressed. You know, the, the three S, I don't know, the awake, shaved, showered, and suit but anyway she doesn't put him in a suit but she gets him dressed and um stop google so she gets him dressed gets him in the cab gets him to the doctor he almost decides to try to escape the doctor office because he thinks it's some kind of horror house of dentistry i don't really get that scene but i also have never watched horror movies so maybe if i did i would understand that but anyway so, and I think Hank um, from I Do Be Loved in the House, I'm not positive, but I'm trying to figure out who the guy is who's wearing this, this mustache in the show as he's sitting in the office. He's going, that character I have seen in either I Do, or that actor I've seen in either I Do Be Loved in the House or in um, Plus and Minus. I'm like, I think it's Hank, but I'm not used to him with a mustache. So I cannot guarantee that. But Hank from I Do Beloved in House. So um, Sheely, he played the character of Sheely. But anyway, um, so he's at the dental office. He finally gets into the dentist. The dentist tries to help him. And there is an earthquake in the middle of the the dental visit. I mean, it's, it's just an absolute bloody disaster. And he ends up, the dentist gets his wrist crushed because in the earthquake, when he's taking care of this guy during in the chair the chair it's all moving around and he gets his hand crushed so it just wasn't a good day for the dentist and the dentist is trying to do his job he's like i must do this job because if i don't your sister's going to bring you back in here and i don't think either you or i want to really see each other again you don't like dentists i don't like having to work on people who don't like dentists can we please just get your get your mouth so that we will put in some anti-inflammatory medication and then we will see about when we need to get that impacted wisdom tooth out of your mouth so anyway he has the dental visit the dentist gives him this tiny little plant in a tooth with a little emoji face it's a really cute plant i'm like yeah so anyway he gives him this plant and he gets ready to leave. Now, at this point, um, neither the dentist nor the brother um, like one another at all. I would say um, I'm reminded of Jane Austen. General incivility is the very essence of love in some situations. But anyway, I really I don't understand that. But anyway, so he ends up getting his tooth somewhat remedied and going home. Um, his sister is then going to Huelin, and so that's kind of where episode one leaves off. I am liking the series. Now, I do have to say this one I'm not liking as much as I Do Be Loved in House or Plus and Minus or We Bus Love, just because it seems to have a bit more of the... Um, I would call it the cringe factor in it. I like the characters, don't get me wrong, but I'm going, let's make the characters realistic, which I don't think the characters would be cringy in if this were a real life story. So I, I really don't see why we have to make them cringy in, in drama either. But, you know, I'm going to give this a shot. We have two months of episodes. I think it's a 12-episode series, and there's three episodes out. The fourth will be out here in about three days. And... Um, I do think it's going to be a good drama, especially because I'm going, it does have some of the people from previous um, Thai dramas I've seen. And the music alone um, that Alex Chu did, I think was great music. I mean, 
It really is. And I, I really like the song. I'm actually going to be doing a podcast here on the song itself because even the lyrics, I think, are really good on this song because, like, there's one part in the song where it says, you should be yourself, and that is who you should be. If people like you, great. If people don't like you, great. I actually had that conversation with one of my friends about this recently. Or not recently, in the last six months. But anyway, basically, you should be you, and people either are okay with that or they're not, but you shouldn't try to change yourself to suit someone else's supposed likability factors. So anyway, that is my review of my Tooth for Your Love episode one. You can watch this on Vicky Rakuten. I also think it might be available on um, Gaga Ooh La La. I have not watched it there, but I've seen some notifications for it recently, I believe. Check it at the round table. Bye! Hi, this is Anna. And this is Check It at the Round Table, where we discuss movies, books, music, and stuff. Today, we are discussing how you can connect with us on social media and also how you can support us. We are reachable at this lovely podcast on various platforms. We also have several YouTube channels, The Hand Network, Check It Round Table, and also the Asian Drama Club. I will drop the links in the description so you can check those out. You can also reach us online at our website. That's onacar.com. That's O-N-N-A-C-A-R-R.com. You can support us through either PayPal or Venmo. Our PayPal email address is roses, R-O-S-E-S, out of the snow, O-U-T-O-F, S-N-O-W at gmail.com. And you can support us also on Venmo. The, the connection for that is at on a car, and that's uppercase O and uppercase C, and it's O-N-N-A-C-A-R-R. The last four to verify are 1143. Thank you so much for listening. Talk to you soon. Bye.